All right, I'm skinning a beaver for you today. Um, I don't skin many beaver, just the ones I eat. And I haven't skinned one in about a year, but uh, and it's also blizzarding outside to top it all off. So I have a small beaver here. Um, cut the cut the feet off, back feet off, front feet off. Cut the tail off. I use a hatchet to do that. And what you want to do is you go right at the base of the tail, and you want to make an incision and go all the way up to the top of the bottom lip there. And generally I have a small pocket knife I do this with, it makes it easier, but I'll, this fillet knife will do just as good a job since I'm only doing one beaver. You go right up, right up to the bottom lip there and then you have, a, you have an incision here, it's, you can see it's all the way down the length of the beaver. I like to throw it out, I'll, I'll pull it away just a little bit to get it going. Take my knife here, I'll go right along the... much faster but I'm gonna slow it down here for you guys. Go right along the inside of this here. You, you don't want to cut any of this caster, especially if you're gonna if you're gonna consume it. Go right down along the edge there. You don't want to you don't want to go too deep because you don't want to cut the skin. I, I'll roll the fur back. Go right along under this leg here. Just like that. Same thing with this leg here. I'll cut along the cheek, roll the foot forward a little bit. Get under that leg. Like that. Flip my beaver over then. Go right along the back. Be really careful back around the hind quarters here, because there's there is no there is no uh, fat. You know, really, it's, it's gristle, but you you can cut through the hide very easily if you're not careful. See, I came not super close there, but close enough that I <laughs> didn't like it. Put my left-handed glove on here because it's only about 25 degrees out. Got it as far as I want to go that way. I'll flip the beaver over. Repeat, basically. Right along here. Right along the edge of the cheekbones here. Go around the foot there until it pops out of the top. Make a cut right underneath it. As long as you don't, as long as you don't angle your knife down and you just keep it at a nice flat angle, you're not going to cut into the hide. Um, cutting around the legs usually takes a lot longer, but if you do it enough times, you just get used to it. Here, get down to the back foot again. Roll it. Once again, I'll cut right underneath that foot. Here we go. Trying to be careful around this back leg because I need to I need to save as much meat as I can. That's going to be going into a crock pot this weekend. I'm trying to turn that for you guys so you can see a little bit better. But this and this isn't a very big beaver. This is only about a 30 pound beaver. And then once 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 I get this skinned up to right about here. Once you get that tail done, you can actually start skinning and just pulling this hide off. It's just, just like that. It's like an orange peel. And flip it over your. Usually you have a skinning board. Then you got to get up to the head. That's where that's where you got to be careful at. You got the got the ears here on both sides. You got to cut through those. Another ear on this side. Cut through that. Close to the skull. Then you pretty much just sort of one side and I like to just work my knife right around the beaver's head right by the eyes around the nose 
Look at that. I haven't skinned a beaver in I don't know how long. And I don't think it took me very long. So, that's about, uh, you know, that's that's how I skin all my beaver. Um, once you get a hang of it, it doesn't take long. It's only going to be a few minutes, I think. And if you do it in some place warm and not with a blizzard, you'll be a lot better off. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to quarter this up. And that's, that's how I skin my beaver. So, thanks for watching.